Benny on the block, we out here. <laughs> no, it's not fucking racist to ask somebody to validate who the fuck they are. No matter what race you are, I mean, like, doesn't matter. Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia, the most recent state in the union to harden their election laws. Now, what does that mean? There's a lot of controversy in Georgia over their very loose voting system last election, and they took steps in the building behind me to harden those rules. Now, this has pissed off a lot of people. One of the things that have made them the most angry on the left has been Georgia's voter ID law. Several civil rights groups are challenging the state of Georgia over its controversial new voting laws. The law includes new ID requirements for Georgia voters. Voter ID now in Georgia, gotta have an ID to vote. My question today on Betty on the Block is, do Georgians have an ID? Have they ever been asked for an ID? Buying alcohol, cigarettes, getting on a plane? And do they think it's racist when they're asked for an ID? I can't wait to hear what they have to say. Let's go find out. Yes, I do. You have a government ID? Yes. Look at that, John. So people are saying, people are saying now that requiring an ID to vote. Look at this, John. Look at this. I have an ID. Look at this, man. I got a food stamp card. Bam! Bam! John, we're gonna blur out all the personal information, but look at this thing. Amazing. What was your name? Hustle Man. You know, what, Hustle look man. at it. Hustle Man. No it's, count. It says Hustle Man on the ID, John. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Hey, number one. Number one Hustle Man on the state issued government ID. Tell me what you need, and I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll come right back. Like I never left. Make me famous, Amy. And now it's time for. This is racist. My question for you today, sir, is do you have an ID? Do I have an ID? Yes, I do. Have you ever been asked for your ID? Do you ask people for their IDs? Yes. You probably do all the time, right? All the time. I get asked for my IDs by Georgia State Police officers and APD. Right. Anybody that asks me about an ID, just, just check to see if we are who we are. I don't think it's racist or prejudice against people that ask about an ID. Jeez. I can't believe it. And a wild Georgia. Thing. I heard that no one in Georgia has an ID. First one, cheese. Right. I want my money. John, she has an ID and she wants her money. Pay me my money. <laughs> and I live under the bridge. And she wants her money. That's right. And she lives under the bridge. Have, have a good day, ma'am. She lives under the bridge. She has an ID and she wants her money. Does she want to vote? because she can, because she has an ID, John. Thanks, Captain Obvious. This is an official parking machine in Atlanta. The Atlanta city government put this up and guess what you need to park here? A credit card. A credit card, something you can't get without an ID. I feel attacked. I feel personally attacked. This, this is a racist parking meter. There's no other way around it. No other way around it, disgusting. You have insulted me in every possible way and can now have nothing further to say. John, I just left the Postal Service, a federal government service. And guess what they asked for me to mail a letter? An address, an address, John. They said, I want to mail a letter. I have to put a return address on there. And guess what? They also asked for an address in Georgia's voter bill. Racist! You think racism can control me? So George is in the news right now for requiring IDs when people vote. Our question is, do you have an ID? I do have an ID. Yeah. Have you ever been asked for it? If you're buying something or traveling somewhere? Uh, yes. Yeah. Does it bother you? Uh, no, not really. Isn't that a little politically um, incorrect? How would you be able to travel and do your music if you didn't have an ID? Exactly, I don't know. I think everybody's just hella touchy about everything, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Ooh, oh, uh -oh. Did he just pull out a, oh, she pulled out the taser. taser. John, that was a taser. That, uh, that, that was a taser, John. Hey, man, we out here in Atlanta, man. Peace Street, man. It gets, <laughs> it gets hectic out here, man. Oh, she's not around. 
He probably didn't have an ID. He He's didn't have an ID. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the question of the day is, do you have an ID? Yep. You own an ID? That driver's license. And a driver's license. Is asking for validation of who you are a racist thing? It's not racist. It's not racist. I don't know if it was the water or the cigarettes, but I was asked for an ID by the woman behind me, okay? What was it? What was it about me that said I need an ID to buy one of these items? I don't know. I don't know. I felt depressed. I felt targeted. I mean, I just, I can't believe it. You are a rude, terrible person. Do you own an ID? Have you ever been have you ever been asked for that ID like going about your daily life? What do you mean? Like buying cigarettes or alcohol or daily, getting on a plane? Maybe twice a week. Twice a week you're asked for your ID. Twice a check, of course, mm -hmm. right, right. Oh, that's right. So when you cash a check or purchase something, uh -huh. yeah. right, ask for the ID. So, and your point is, why don't you get the kumquats out of your mouth and get to the fucking point cuz I don't know what you're talking about. So Georgia just passed voter ID and people are saying it's racist to require an ID to figure out who you are so you can vote. No. Um, you know, I know I'm on both sides of the fence, but I do believe you should know they should, I mean, we're all a number, right? Yep. There's so many numbers in the system and every vote counts. That's right. So if you're faking a vote, you know, that's that that should be like against the law. That's right. Is it bad to ask for IDs? Do you does anyone ever ask you for an ID if you need to buy something, you've got to get Yeah. I mean, I feel kind of bad when I go to Walgreens to buy a pack of cigarettes. And I mean, you could clearly tell that I'm over the 17, I mean, over the limit. Wow. But it's a look, it's a law, we gotta ask everybody. That's right. So I just, you know, humble myself and I pull out my card and it says, hustle man, and I'm clear. <laughs> I mean, the clear. So they ask you when you're buying cigarettes? Yeah. If you're over 17? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on, man. Yeah. Look, look at that, look at this yeah, beard. Yeah. Hey, hey come on. I just grew it last night. <laughs> come on, dude. Come on, man. Stop profiling, okay? He's the man's over 17. Georgia, come on. Dre he's got jewelry in the dress. Look at that, John. You see this? Real Atlanta shit. Look, that is real Atlanta shit. Oh my God, are those bottle caps? Got my Jack Daniels. <laughs> got my Corona. Got Bud Light. Do you have an ID? That's our question. Yeah. Do you get asked for your ID? Like at the store or if you're on a yeah, plane? Outside. Yeah, you need your ID. John, we are here with Ariana from Georgia State University. Ariana, do you have an ID? I do, yeah. Do you feel attacked when someone asks you for an ID? <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. <laughs> Everyone has an ID. Like, it's it's just standard. Look at this, John. There, oh, uh, Texas. Texas. This is so triggering. This is the most triggering thing in Georgia. Do not, libs, do not turn away. Do not look, libs. She's from Texas and she has an ID. I want to make sure that our viewers know that I've officially handed off these cigarettes that I bought, a fresh oh, the pack of cigarettes. cigarettes are the, my favorite. They're good for you is what they say. Yeah, mm-hmm, true. Tom, that is your this gift is from us. from Benny on the block. Oh, I'm on my knees and I thank oh, you. Well, let it be known, Nurse Kate, I didn't smoke those cigarettes. I have given them to Kate, Tom. I've taken all the cancer. <laughs> right in the heart of Atlanta, Everyone we talked to said they have an ID. We talked to a dozen people. Everyone said they have an ID. Doesn't matter where they came from. Doesn't matter if they live under a bridge. They said we have an ID. And we don't actually think it's racist when people ask us for it. That's been it for us this week on Betty on the Block. That's all we got. See ya. Hey, it's Benny Johnson here, Turning Point USA's Chief Creative Officer. If you like this video you just watched, be sure to subscribe to the official Turning Point USA channel and never miss an episode. See you guys next week.